In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the future of WordPress and WooCommerce. We will talk about the new phase of WordPress, the phase three, the collaborative phase. We'll talk about the new interface, the new UI of WordPress. And I'm going to start with this in this video. And then we will talk about what's new within WooCommerce, the new product creation flow, as well as some improvements we will see in WooCommerce within the next few weeks or months. Let's get right into it. First things first, we need to see what the new UI of WordPress will look like. So I can give you, of course, all the links into the description of the video if you want to have more details, but I can show you a few clips. For instance, this one, here and et voila you have all the new interface which is supposed to come within wordpress within the next uh, probably next year 2024 maybe 25 but i don't think so and they will set the path at the end of this year with wordpress 6.4 so as you can see it looks like the site editing uh, interface but the site editing interface they want to bring this ui across all the back office of wordpress so as you can see here, we have everything. It's not just about templates. It's not just about pages. Uh, we have everything. We have the dashboard, we have the post, we have the media page and so on, the plugins and also the WooCommerce. And if we check another clip, this one, they go into WooCommerce. So as you can see, we have this little purple, WooCommerce purple. And let's play the video from the beginning. Up, WooCommerce. So as you can see, it's very smooth when we go from one menu to another. So uh, now there will be several clicks uh, to go anywhere you want uh, within WordPress, several clicks instead of one right now. So it feels like maybe not the best idea, but at the same time, it's a lot smoother. And we don't have the page loading each time. I can play the video again. As you can see, no loading time no loading time it's very very smooth so i think at the same time it's a lot more neat modern but also it's a lot smoother i think overall it's pretty exciting if you ask me but i would love to have your opinion into the comment section of course so what i just showed you is part of the phase three multiplayer phase three here but before talking about phase three uh, there are some news in regards to this new interface. So this is a blog post from WP Tavern. And if I scroll down, we have some more mockups or concepts. And as you can see, we will have the white version. So we'll have a black and white version if you want. And I scroll down, I can show you here plugin. And this is a very important part because as we can see here, we have this is this would be inside of a plugin, inside the settings of a plugin, and they want to bring more uh, uniformity within plugins because right now we have many many different kinds of interface of UI within the different plugins. Each plugin try to build their own interface, and they try the WordPress community. I mean, they want to build some uniformity within WordPress so that when you are into a plugin, well, you have all the time the same tabs same field same buttons uniformity again so i think it's a lot better in terms of user experience for people within wordpress so this is an example here uh, this would be plugins and they will be the same uh, because of components so i don't want to go into the technical part of it uh, you will have the documentation if you want but they will build components that developers can use to create this uniformity within wordpress and here we have several plugins uh, this is of course demo plugins but you have the first one second one third one so what tells us is that we will be able to store every plugins into one menu at least it's not us it will be by default how wordpress works but we will have the plugins into like some other cms's for instance shopify works this way you have all the apps within shopify just into the apps menu so it will be the exact same way into wordpress we will have all the plugins inside one menu so we can circle back to uh, some of the clips here as you can see, we have the plugins menu. So I don't know if it's only the place to install and activate plugins or if it's a place also to be able to store uh, every plugins and all the setting of the plugins and features and so on within the same spot. Maybe both, I don't know, but at least we will have all the plugins into one place. So it means that the top level menus here will be decluttered with less menus, with less plugins compared to now. They want to at the same time, uh, create some uniformities, like I said several times, but also to have something more 
ergonomic, more fluent, but at the same time with less uh, waste uh, inside the WordPress interface. And I think it will be a lot better. Okay, so everything I just showed you here is part of the phase three. And phase three is about multiplayer or collaborative work. So let me show you everything you need to know, at least the main pillars of what you need to know about phase three. First pillar, of course, is the UI revamp of WordPress. So we've talked about that. Now we need to talk about real-time collaboration. So this is again a WP Tavern uh, blog post and here you have a, a clip. See, we are several, we can be many, one, two, three webmasters at the same time within a page or a post, any kind of post or custom post tab you want. So we'll be able to work as many as you want. Uh, it's not the way WordPress wor is working right now, so it will be very, very close. It's not completely the same as, you know, Notion or Google Doc, Google Sheet, this kind of uh, new age tools, this kind of SaaS. And because we will have real-time collaborative work, we will also have a comment feature. So this is just a sneak peek, but we will be able to uh, go any, anywhere you want within the page and select, you know, text or block or anything you want and just leave a comment so that you can work with uh, other webmasters and exchange some ideas and, you know, it's really about collaborative work and workflows. Also part of the phase three, so we have real-time collaboration, uh, we have the comment features and we will have some improvements big improvements, I should say, with revisions and media libraries. So revisions right now, uh, if I show you what it looks like, maybe you, you know already, but I want to show you again because it's, it's, it's terrible. When you are into a page and you click on revisions, um, you have this feature revisions, which allow you to go back in time and put an older version of your page or post uh, so you need to use this slider and you have the previous revisions, which is basically a history. Uh, and right now it looks like this. So we only have code. So of course it's not very user friendly. And with the phase three, they want to bring a visual fashion of showing. Uh, and when I say re visual fashion, I just mean that they will show us the pages the actual pages. So we won't have code, but we will have the previous version in a visual way. And if you want to go back in time with some of your posts or pages, it will be a lot easier and it will be, a, again, a smoother experience uh, within revision. And they will do also some improvements with the media library. I have nothing to show you right now, but it's mainly about being able to store, to create categories or tags within media library. So they want to do a whole revamp of the media library, uh, a different user interface, as well as being able to do something cleaner because right now we just have a huge listing of our medias, so it's not very user friendly. And we want to be able to, uh, like we do sometimes when we install new plugins just for the sake of doing this, but we will be able to create folders, maybe some folders or tags or something else to be more organized within the media library. So it will be a massive improvement for webmasters. So we talked about the new interface of WordPress. We talked about the phase three. Now I want to give you a sneak peek of the future of WooCommerce. And the first one is about high performance order storage for WooCommerce. So I don't have anything to show you here, but it's related to database. And basically we'll have between 30 to 40% faster e-commerce websites with WooCommerce. So if you want to dive deep into the documentation, you will have the link in the description. So it's called High Performance Order Storage for WooCommerce and it's coming in uh, August of this year, 2023. And last but not least, we will have a new UI within WooCommerce. So if we go back here, as you can see, this is a new, this is the way WooCommerce would merge into the site editing and the new WordPress interface uh, within. Uh, it's not just about the menus and uh, the surroundings within WooCommerce itself. We will have a new product flow creation, which looks like this. And it's already available in beta if you want to try, not on a live website, of course. But as you can see, this is a simple product. We have all the regular fields here in the first tab. So the first tab is general pricing. Then we have inventory shipping with plugins uh, related to WooCommerce. I think we will have more tabs within uh, here, the product creation process. Uh, so we, you will be able for developers to have more tabs or to 
merge into the, the existing tabs. And of course, we will have Gutenberg, the blocks, within uh, the product creation. It, it won't be about the tiny MCU, or I'm not sure how you call it, but the, the former way to create just the right descriptions of products, you will be able to access Gutenberg and blocks for your product pages. It will create a pop-up when you want to write what it's called right now, the long form description, uh, the real description of the product. You will click on it and you will be able to uh, open a pop-up like this with Gutenberg inside it. And then when you close this pop-up, you will go back to this interface. So basically it will look like this, but this is the future of WooCommerce. So what do you think about all these changes? I think it's going to be massive, but it's going to take quite a long time. If you ask me, I think we'll, go, we'll uh, have some minor changes by the end of this year, 2023, but then it will be mostly about 20, 2024. So next year for most of the changes I just showed you. And maybe I think part of what I just showed you will be built uh, upon 2025. Let me know into the comment section. I hope you will learn something new in this video and I hope you're excited, as at least as excited as me, for the future of WordPress and WooCommerce. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to have more content about WordPress and WooCommerce. And if you enjoy my French accent, as you can see, I have a lot of work to do to be more fluent, but I will do a lot more videos. And if you want to encourage me, you can like this video. Thank you very much for your attention and I will see you in the next one.